In this video, we're going to talk about finding average rate of change for the next three problems from the review. And so the, for the first one, calculate the average rate of change between x equals 4 and x equals 8 for the function 5 plus 3 halves x. Now in this one, we have a linear function. So in a linear function, the average rate of change is the same thing as the slope. So if we identify the slope, which is positive 3 halves, we've got our average rate of change. And it's not always so easy. In this one, we don't have a linear function. We have 2x squared minus 2x for our function, and we want the slope between negative 2f of negative 2 and 3f of 3. So our average rate of change is our change in output, so f of 3 minus f of negative 2 over input, change in input, 3 minus negative 2. So our change in input is going to be 3 plus 2, because we have minus a negative, so over 5. So we have to use our function to calculate f of 3, which is 2 times 3 squared minus 2 times 3. 3 squared is 9, times 2 is 18, minus 6 is 12. We also need f of negative 2. So we have 2 times negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2. Sorry about writing in such a small space. So negative 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. And then we have negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So minus a negative 4, so plus 4. And so is 12. So our change in output is 12 minus 12. So we get 0 over 5 or 0 for our average rate of change. In the last one, we have an exponential function. And so now our change in output is going to come from the exponential function between 3 and 5. And t is the number of hours after 1 p.m. So we've got to be a little careful here. So our change in output, well, our output at 5 p.m. is going to be 100 times 1.035 to the 4th because t is the number of hours after 1 p.m. minus 100 times 1.035 and now the number of hours after 1 p.m. that 3 is is 2 so our inputs are 4 and 2 so our change in input is 4 minus 2 so we already know our answer is going to be over 2 let's use our calculator to help us calculate that uh, numerator there so we have 100 times 1.035 raised to the fourth minus 100 times 1.035 squared. And there's our change in output. Now remember, this is, this is getting divided by 2. And we see that our answer is about 3.8. The units on it are output units per unit input, bacteria per hour.